आगे वी विल बी लुकिंग एट पिक्स सिक्सटीन एफ एच सेवन सेवन जे माइक्रो कंट्रोलर वी विल बी यूजिंग दिस माइक्रो कंट्रोलर टू बीट आवर ओन डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड अलॉन्ग विथ सम ऑन बोर्ड एल ईडीज पुश बटन एल डी आर्स एंड हेडर फॉर पिक की थ्री कनेक्शन वी विल ऑल्सो हैव पिन हेडर्स फॉर फॉर ऑल द रिस्पेक्टिव पिनस एंड पोर्ट्स सो वी विल बी यूजिंग काइकैट सॉफ्टवेयर टू मेक आवर ओन सर्किट सर्किट बोर्ड डिजाइन एंड वी विल बी सींग बैक इन ए मिनिट Uh, I have also made uh, other videos for Pic 16F, H77A for using the analog comparator, using the ADC, etc. But uh, in this video, we will be looking at how to make our own board and how to set up the MPLAB IDE so that uh, we can use it uh, hassle-free. I'll be giving the essential information about using this uh, microcontroller to making this development board and to set up the MPLAB IDE as well as the IPE for writing the code and uploading the flash. So. Uh, data sheet details I'll be not delving into too much here. Uh, I will be just observing the pinout right now since uh, we will be using this pinout for making our own circuit board. Uh, so let's have a look at our our board. Uh, let's see. This is my board of the Pic 16A Page 77A microcontroller. You can see here. In this board, I have two onboard LEDs connected to RB1 and RD1. And this is this one is the 20 megahertz crystal oscillator with the 33 picofarad uh, capacitors here. Here I have the 220 ohm resistance and here the 30 ohm resistance. Uh, these values are not critical for the LEDs. These are for the, from the RD1 and the RB1. And uh, here I have a LDR, an onboard LDR connected to pin uh, AIN0 analog input 0. This is the LDR with the 6.8 kilo ohm pull-up resistance. This one is an onboard push button with a 6.8 kilo ohm pull up resistance, and this is an, a simple capacitor connected to VCC and ground. So this kind of development board, if you can build, is uh, very much will be very much easy to use, and uh, you should use it. You should make it make it one so that you can uh, snap your pick it inside this uh, header easily, and you can program this microcontroller fast. And easily, uh, you need to buy this Picky Three. Uh, this will cost you around uh, maybe around ten dollars or more. So get get them one, and uh, also build up these headers for the Picky Three. And uh, now you should be ready to uh, to roll on. Now open up Microchip MPLAB X IDE. It can be downloaded from the link given in the description below. It can be downloaded for free. So after installing that, you need to also to install the XC8 compiler. Everything is in given in the link in the description box so that you can download download everything, install everything. Then open up MPLAB X IDE. Now click on File. 
click on file new project you uh, you will be asked to choose a project standalone project by default click on next here it will then ask to choose you the ic my ic 16f877a similarly for any other ic you can enter the name here it will the name will pop up from this drop down list then click on next it will now ask to choose the compiler choose xc8 you should have installed the xc8 compiler beforehand now give a project uh, project name like uh, 16f877 a blink click on finish now it will take some time to make up the whole project and to generate the make files it will take certain time have patience it will gather the compiler symbols so therefore it will take certain time if you have a high end system then the process might be a, a faster process so now on the left side you can see the mm, the name in the name at the bold which, uh, this this is the is the selected project so click on the plus here now on the source files click on source file right click click on new main.c you can give any name to here extension.c click on finish again it will take certain time to uh, load, load up the whole page so you can now see the new main.c is being uh, is being included to your uh, to your project files now you need to set up the configuration bits the pragma configuration bits you need to set up here click on production set configuration bits this should open up now mine is hs high speed oscillator all everything are off click on generate source code to output this will come up copy that and paste it below the include and you can now uh, uh, drag and small the size of of this now uh, you need to define the underscore x tal freak crystal frequency so mine is 20 megahertz so this is done now my LED is connected to RB1 therefore try state register trees B1 set to output set RB1 as output now inside infinite while loop we will continuously blink the LED therefore RB1 equal to 1 underscore underscore delay underscore ms rb1 equal to 0 so this code is now uh, complete now we will build this project click on this hammer it will build up the project so building is successful so now open up the MPLAB XIPE to burn the this hex file into the microcontroller. We will use the MPLAB XIPE. We will use the MPLAB XIPE. This should be installed when you will install the MPLAB XIDE. So choose the microcontroller speak 16F877A. Now connect the picket tree with your computer using the USB cable and connect the microcontroller board to the picket 3 since driver should be automatically installed when you will install the MPLAB X it will detect the picket 3 automatically now observe the, if the uh, power target from picket 3 is checked or not if this is checked now also check on your board if the toggle switch on your microcontroller board is, uh, is in programming mode or in run mode in run if you set it to run mode the picket will not detect the IC at all toggle the switch to programming mode so that your picket can identify the bit 16F A. so now click on connect let's see if you can find the IC or not it will give a warning message click on ok let's wait so it says pick 16F A 77A found now we will browse for the now we will browse for the hex file locate your 
locate your folder for the MPLabex projects. Our project name is Blink. Open up list default production production dot hex hex file. Open the toggle switch should be again set to programming mode. Click on program. This should program the 16F, 877A flash with the hex code you have choose chosen. So it says programming complete. Now to run the project, you need to toggle the switch from programming mode to run mode. Let's toggle the switch and let's see the output. So this, this is the PICI 3 connected to the PC. Now click on, uh, now toggle the switch on run mode and see the RB1 is now blinking exactly the way we want it again you can decrease or increase the delay size also I have another onboard LED as you have saw on the circuit diagram also the LDR you can see the crystal oscillate everything so you can now move on to the other projects which we have discussed in our other tutorials and in a future tutorial we will be discussing about interrupts with big microcontroller so stay tuned hit on subscribe and click on the like button and click on the notification bell for getting notified about our further videos so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe see you next time